I'm Cheryl, and I wanted to read a little bit from a piece that my father wrote a couple of years ago. Um, he was asked to write about his beliefs, and, and he worked on it for a bit, and he came up, came up with some really very wonderful things. Um, just a couple of them. He, he says, I believe in taking a positive attitude towards the world, toward people, and toward my work. I think I'm here for a purpose. I think it's likely that we all are, but, only sure, but I'm only sure about myself. I try to tune myself into whatever it is that I'm supposed to be, and I try to think of myself as a part of all of us, all mankind and all of life. I don't know exactly where ideas come from, but when I'm working well, ideas just appear. I've heard other people say similar things, so it's one of the ways that I know that there is help and guidance out there. It's just a matter of us figuring out how to receive the ideas or the information that's there waiting to be heard. He writes, when I was young, my ambition was to be one of the people who makes a difference in this world. My hope still is to leave this world a little bit better than it was when I got here. It's a wonderful life, and I love it. And we all love him very, very much. I'm Brian. Uh, when my father died, he left each one of us a letter. And uh, it helped us a lot. And I think I'd, we'd like to share it, parts of it, to all of you. He wrote this about four years ago. We received it three days ago. I'm not at all afraid of the thought of death, and in many ways look forward to it with much curiosity and interest. I'm looking forward to meeting up with some of my friends who've gone on ahead of me, and I'll be waiting there to say hi to those of you who are still back there. I suggest you first have a nice, friendly little service of some kind. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, little service, big place. <laughs> it would be lovely if some of the people who sing would do a song or two, some of which should be quite happy and joyful. It would be nice if some of my close friends would say a few nice, happy words about how much we enjoy doing this stuff together. Incidentally, I'd love to have a Dixieland band play at this function and end with a rousing version of Saints. So you have that to look forward to. <laughs> He finished this letter. This was addressed to friends and family. Have a wonderful time in life, everybody. It feels strange writing this kind of thing while I'm still alive, but it wouldn't be easy to do after I go. <laughs> there, was, there was also a, a letter specifically from him to the kids, to us five. And um, I would like to read a little bit out of that as well. These are just excerpts. First of all, don't feel bad that I'm gone. While I, will, while I will miss spending time with each of you, I'm sure it will be an interesting time for me, and I look forward to seeing all of you when you come over. To each of you, I send my love. If on this side of life I'm able to watch over and help you out, know that I will. If I can't, I'm sure I can at least be waiting for you when you come over. Please watch out for each other and love and forgive everybody. It's a good life. Enjoy it. This all may sound silly and over the top to you guys, but what the hell, I'm gone and who can argue with me? I hope that you enjoy the pictures that are in the back that John and the people in the company have worked on. And I, I'm so um, impressed with our group and the people who have been working, the people who created his extended creative family who have worked on this, and the outpouring of uh, effort and 
love. And um, I don't want to say thank you because I know it's not for me, but I really appreciate it.